Let us discuss this example. So in this example, we have a sequence of function fn of x is equal to x e raised to minus nx, where x is greater or equal to 0. We have to find its pointwise limit. Let us write the given sequence of function first. So we have, okay, what we have fn of x, fn of x is equal to x upon e raised to nx. Instead of writing e raised to minus nx, I have shifted it to the denominator. So it will be e raised to plus nx where x is greater than or equal to 0. To find its limit, we are going to discuss a separate case for x is equal to 0 and the second case will be for x is not equal to 0, right? So let us consider for x is equal to 0. Let us find a limit. Limit n tends to infinity fn of 0. Since value of x is 0, we have considered. So this is equal to limit n tends to infinity fn of 0, that means here I should put x is equal to 0. So you will have 0 upon e raised to 0. So you know that e raised to 0 is 1. So that's why denominator is 1 and numerator is 0. So obviously we will have 0. If you apply the limit, you will have 0. Since 0 is a constant, you will have the same. Now let us discuss the second case. If x is not equal to 0, let us see what will happen. Let me write here for x is not equal to that means it is strictly greater than 0 since we have either x is equal to 0 or greater than 0. Let us consider greater than 0 now. So limit n tends to infinity fn of x right. So this is equal to limit n tends to infinity fn of x is x upon e raised to nx we have got. See when you apply the limit numerator will be fixed getting since it is x there is no any n. If you apply the limit denominator will go to infinity. Since we are taking n tends to infinity, e raised to infinity will be infinity, 1 upon infinity is 0. So its value will be 0. So that means if x is equal to 0, we are getting limit 0. If x is not equal to 0, that means strictly greater than 0, then also we are getting li limit 0. So therefore, therefore, what will be our conclusion? Our sequence of function fn converges to f, which is equal to 0 on close interval 0, comma infinity. So the zero is a pointwise limit of a given sequence of functions. Okay, make a screenshot of it, then we'll stop. Thank you. Bye-bye.